everyone! Welcome to Cabo class! So, have you heard of our Lord and Savior, the Bitty God? Well, look no further, for it is I, Cabo Chama, but you can just call me Daddy. So, today we are doing Cabo class! Yay! I know I've seen a few of you um, just a few hours earlier when I was doing commissions, but um, tonight's Kabbalah class is going to be Anatomy 101. Yay! <laughs> All right, so for those of you who haven't um, been to Kabbalah class before, here's what happened. So I have a handy dandy um, like template that I made for everyone. Um, to follow along in class. So here it is. There you go. Um, if you haven't, you know, gotten it, there it is. So how this works is that there's a, um, a Photoshop document on there if you want to do um, digital stuff. And Photoshop documents should be able to open in any program. So it should be fine with whatever program you use to open up that um, Photoshop document. If not, you can do, uh, I have a JPEG on there as well. Um, so if you just want to just do it without all the layers, that's fine as well. Um, if layers are too like intimidating or you just don't want to deal with it, I understand. Uh, and if you're doing traditional, um, then it'll work with traditional too. If you want to print it out or if you just want to grab your sketchbook and whatever um, you know writing utensil you want to use. Uh, so and you know if you just want to hang out, that's fine too. So today we are going to be going over um, how the body works and how it looks, how to measure it um, with your eyeball and how uh, and like some common misconceptions about like how things are sized. So yeah, I'm just gonna switch over to the other screen. Let's see. So here we go. Here it is. This is my template for you guys. Um, so we have this over here, uh, okay. This over here, this is our human body. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I put those details there for a reason. Um, so this is the human body right here and you can see that it is measured by circles all the way down. That's what we're gonna use. Um, and then these are some stuff these are like the circles that literally copy and paste over here and over here as well um, so that we can draw um, with them. So uh, I'm just going to kind of explain what this is, right? So, um, you know, everything, of course, whenever you draw something, usually people start out by drawing the head, right? So usually you would start out by um, drawing it the head with um, one circle. Like, you know, you like draw your head circle and you're like, okay, that's the chin right there. Yeah, great, awesome. So this circle right here that you draw at first represents this circle, they're the same circle, the exact same circle. Um, so that's what we're working off. Everything is sized to the head um, because it's just the easiest way to uh, kind of work with what we got. And let me get a good color for you guys so that you can tell the difference. I'm gonna use a red. I always like red. I'm gonna make my thingy a little bigger too. Okay, so if we go down, you'll see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine circles all the way from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. And so, we're going to be using those nine circles to figure out um, where things are placed on the body. Uh, so as you can see right here, so I put like lines here to like show you guys um, different things. So the, the shoulders kind of come at the like, like the widest point in your shoulders come at the bottom of the second circle right there. See, right here, if you draw a straight line, it'll be the, uh, the widest part of your shoulders. And then at the third one, that's where your nipples are placed. I did put that there for a reason. It's very important. So, um, this is where your nuples are. Um, it, 
doesn't matter how big or small your your boob butt is, your nipples will always be placed here. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. Very important indeed. It is very important, yes. Booba. Biddies. So, um, you can make, you know, your booby really big and it'll still be there. Or you can make your booby really small and it'll still be there. You know, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be here. So, um, then we move down. So this right here, this circle is kind of like um, where the rib cage ends right here. Um, so the rib cage kind of follows this circle. It kind of goes like this. This is what the ribs do. Um, but it doesn't really matter for right now. I mean, I guess it does. Um, but yeah. And then right here is going to be where your waist is. Um, now this, it's like, it's where you like your natural waist is. Um, and then right here, how many circles are we? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, at the bottom of the fifth circle, that is where your hips are. The biggest point in your hips are right there. And then the sixth, the, on the seventh circle, halfway through the seventh circle, that's where your knees are. That's where your knees are supposed to lay. And then you go two more down, bam, bam, and you get to your feet. Now, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. I will let you know, the feet are a full circle long, but because of foreshortening, because the feet are currently coming out like this towards you, you don't see the full length. Like if the foot was like, like this, it would be a full circle. Yeah, zooming in on the money makers, yeah. Um, so if the foot was facing down like this, then it would be a full circle. But since it's coming out towards you, aka a foreshortening, um, it doesn't look like it's a full circle, but it is. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. So, um, the same goes for the hand. The hand is also a full circle. If you open up all your fingers, it should be a full circle, like this, right? And it's also a full circle from the wrist to the tip of the middle finger right there. Um, which means that the hands and the feet are way bigger than um, what people normally think that they are. They're really big. They are literally, literally the size of your head, okay? Your foot is as big as your head, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, now for the head, it gets a little tricky. We can do face stuff later. Um, this is body anatomy 101, so I, you know, I don't really have um, the time to do that currently. But usually uh, what happens is you, um, make your face and it like ends like right as like the the center line of that second circle that's where your chin is supposed to end but sometimes it gets it goes a little a little more like sometimes like it's like i think this guy is like this that's how his face is like that um yeah yeah so uh, it's basically the explanation of this whole concept thingy that we're going to do. So, um, using what we kind of learned just now, let's try and draw a human body with the circles, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. We're going to go slow. We can do it together, okay? So, what we want to do is... We want to remember exactly the order, so I'm going to kind of zoom in. We can just go up and down. Okay, so we're starting at the top. This is the head, and then I'm going to... Oh no, I'm, I'm on invisible. You want to make a new layer if you're doing layers. 
Um, so you want to go down. You want to make your face. Like that. Make your face. Yay! And then, uh, this is also where like the neck enters onto the form. Um, so this is going to be the widest point of the shoulders. And shoulders don't go like this. They go like this. There's like muscle, like I know the bones go like this, but the muscle connects the neck to the rest of the body. So you always want to have like a curve. Your shoulders like this. Like this, right? And then, so that's that. This is where we're gonna put our new place. Once I find my pen, hello. I don't understand. Did it die? Did my pen die? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it did die. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put our new place here, so it's gonna be right here on this line between these two. I'm gonna go boop boop and boop boop like that. There our new place. And then we're gonna kinda do this. Now I'll show us that the, those are new blades. We're gonna go a little bit down. We're gonna continue the body. So this line is going to be your natural waist. So make them as, as skinny or big as you want. I'll do this. Yeah. And then this is our hips. So I'll make it come out a little bit. Like that maybe. And then right here is where our knees are going to be. So. I'm gonna kind of do this. This is this line right here. You can also see is where the crotch is. So if you want to, you can go like this. Doot doot! Yay! That's my crotch. And then right here is where um, the ankles are, where the feet start. So I'm going to kind of come up. So right here's the calf and it kind of comes out a little bit. So you want to do like, like a this. A little pear, like elongated pear shape. Like this. And then you know, your knees are like right there. There you go. And then for the feet, the feet are kind of hard. Feet are really hard to draw guys. Like you think hands are hard, feet are harder. You don't really see it very much. Um, so what happens is you have your straight line down and then you go out with your toes. And it kind of cones like this. You can just do that for now. Basically this is like the big toe and then it gets smaller. Like that. And this is your ankle and your ankle. Like that. That's how it works. Just believe me. Okay. And then um, I'm going to continue with my arms. So when you put your elbows in, they're going to land right at your natural waist. Like if you put your elbows in right now, like on your physical human body, you'll feel that they come in right at your natural waist. So that's where you're going to put your elbows. So I'm just going to mark it. You can never draw feet with the way you just described. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Look, shapes are your best friend. Just do a weird little triangle thing. Yeah. Now I'm just going to connect all of my stuff. So that's my, f this is my upper arm right here. I'll show you like muscles and stuff too. But um, we're just going to do the basics right now. Uh, and then, okay. So if you, I'm gonna like sc scooch and like stand up for a second. Okay. Ah, I disappeared, don't worry, I'm still here. Um, so if you 
stand up and you like slap your leg like that, you can feel where your fingers touch and where your wrist is. We want to figure out where your wrist is. So like hit, kind of hit yourself a little bit. Um, and if you draw a line on your body, you'll notice that it hits right at your crotch. So that's where we're going to put our crotch. Or not, I mean, we already did the crotch. No, but we're going to put, um, yeah, you know what, what I'm saying. And the wrist is smaller than the rest of it. And then it's going to go like this. The forearms are shorter than you would think. I always make my forearms um, really long, but it, um, I shouldn't do that because they're actually really short. They're shorter than you'd think and so are um, this part of your leg too. It's shorter than you would think. Just try it and yes, it's true. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can always reference your own body when you're doing anatomy. It's very useful. Sometimes I have to do it myself. I have to be like, okay, how big is my hand? You know, and I smack my face with it. And then I, and then I, um, and then I know, you know. Also, I'm blinking a lot because I have glasses on right now. <laughs> and the, the tracking is kind of off. <laughs> it thinks that um, my eyebrows are the top rim and the bottom of my eyes or my eyelids are the bottom of the rim it's weird anyway um so then if we know that this is where the wrist is and we know that the hand is another circle we can do we can find the bottom of the next circle kind of draw a little line and that's how big your hand is going to be in that blank space um so, you know, however you want to draw a hand. I like to draw it like this, like, like this, and then like that. Just like a little rhombus guy. And it, it works, it works for now, right? Yeah. So like a little, yeah, you get it, you get it. I know, it looks kind of weird, but how it is um so now that if you you know zoom out you can see that you have a body wow fantastic so you can even like make the um the circles go away wow it's a body wow and you can you know do whatever you want to make it look like whatever you want um but this is this is how it works out So, yeah, wow! It really, it really does work. I promise it works. Um, so, I guess let's have fun and make um, our own kind of body-esque thing. So I'm going to uh, draw on top of this. You can um, do whatever you want. I'm gonna do a side view for this one because side view is also very important. Um, but let's do uh, whatever we want for this one for now. So um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys um, two different versions. I'm gonna make like a super, super skinny person and then um, a, a, a more larger person. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to like add and subtract um, fat and muscle mass um, on your people so that you can make more diverse body types. So, and you know, every single body is different. So um, if you have a body type or if you're trying to draw a body type that's different from the body types that I'm gonna show you how to draw real fast, then that is totally fine. You use whatever type of body you wanna draw and just go for it. Have fun, experiment, do whatever you want. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how to add and subtract muscle and fat. Um, and this works for both men and women. So just, you know, really men and women, their physical body structures aren't very different. It's how the muscles wrap around the bones that's different. 
that's where you get your like minuscule differences but in the end men and women's bodies so simple so not simple so similar that's the word i wanted so similar um so i'm gonna show you uh someone who's like more petite let me show you so um what i really like to do is i like to add the um the collarbones because if you show bones protruding out then that means you know there's not very much um fat or muscle or not necessarily muscle just not enough fat for them to be hidden so you can go in real tight like this and you know your um the tibies will be there so what i'm doing is i'm taking the circles and just going real close to them and i know that um with someone who's more petite their waist their natural waist is going to be the skinniest part but their rib cage right here that's where the bones end so there's like there's like it goes like this and then like that that's how it happens so like the rib cage is right here and the stomach goes like that and this is this is the booba right there so and then we go out a little bit just a little bit and go down And you always want to remember that the, the like, that noise, that's my, that's my wire to, um, charge my pen. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, you always want to remember that for, um, thighs and stuff, you know, you have your leg right here and your leg right here. These are the bones. So, uh, instead of all of the skin and fat and muscle uh, being cut, from this way and this way um, if you just cut it there it won't look natural you gotta cut it from the inside too so um, like this and you have your crotch this is this is where you get your you know your famous like die gap you want to cut it from this side as well cut it from all sides your belly buttons like right there your belly buttons like right at your natural waist just slightly under it right there and then you have your knees right here. And then, like I said, your calf is right here. And you just keep going, make it smaller and smaller. And then, you know, the feet are weird, just... Just draw them. The feet rarely get very much fat on them so you can keep them the same size um hands too you can keep them the same size as um for like all body types it's just if you go into like really close detail you want to add some fat um, on top of everything just to make it look like plush if you're doing like a larger person um or if you're doing a really skinny person just like figure out the bone structure and just kind of like draw a skeleton basically and then erase some lines so what I'm doing here so when you have your arm out, you have, okay, this is your like bicep right here. This is, or I don't know, muscle groups. Um, I think it's your tricep, that's your bicep, I don't know. Anyway, this is kind of where those muscle groups are and then your forearm starts and you have this like big like bone that's like this. So you always wanna try and draw the bone like coming out on either side and then tapering at the bottom like that 
and this there's a muscle here and a muscle here and this is where your veins are just letting you know um if you didn't know you probably already knew so we're gonna do the other side and then you got your whatever whatever and your whatever whatever and then you got your big boy comes out like this and you got your hand bam and then of course you can make your neck skinnier and your cheeks skinnier Ta-da! now if we zoom out we're gonna erase these Ta-da! it's a skinny person wow amazing wow so great So now I want to show you guys how to draw um, a larger person. So, of course, every single person is different. Um, everybody grows fat differently. So, I'm just going to show you how to add fat in different places. And whatever, you know, and whatever ends up happening, ends up happening. So. If you are going to add fat to a neck, you're going to just like come bring it out like this. Usually people with like super muscly necks have them be the same as like the same width as the circle for the head. And then you know you just draw your thing like this. Wow! Amazing! Um, for shoulders, Unless your person is really, really buff, you're not going to get very much fat on your shoulders. Um, you're only going to grow muscle on your shoulders. So we can keep the, the shoulders like this. What you're going to grow fat on is um, right here on the arms and right here on the body, sometimes on the boobies, sometimes. So we're really going to emphasize this weight right here right here and we're going to cinch at the elbow um, because that's where everything connects uh, so you always want to cinch it and then we're going to do the same for this one and then cinch it again, kind of sort of, at the wrists. I know, the wire is really annoying. And then like I said, you can draw the hand the same size. Just trace over it. So, and then what you want to do is, before you go booba, you want to think about um, what's getting um, added on on the stomach area, wire ASMR, yeah. <laughs> um, you wanna? I don't have any jump scares. So I'm gonna. I just. I just noticed that. Sorry. Zero. Okay. So um, you wanna think about where uh, what's going on underneath because what's going on underneath um, shows you how much your booba fat is gonna sag. So. Um, and of course, we're always thinking gravity, right? So gravity is going like this. Um, but that's for booba. We don't have to worry about that right now. So for the stomach, people usually have a cinched stomach. Um, it seems like they don't, but what's really getting fatter is this part right here, right below the rib cage. I mean, there's definitely, you know, like back fat and um, everything like that up here. Um, but this is the main area that gets, um, all of the weight right here, below the natural waist. So, uh, it doesn't cinch too much, but it kind of cinches. So you want to draw your fat like this, like this, and I can erase this part.
can erase the underside of the arm. And then, um, you know, and this is where people try and like get their pants to um, like a cinch. So you get like your muffin top right here. Um, and that's why people think it's like the, this area that's being fat, but in, in reality, it's this area. Um, so depending on what you're doing, uh, male or female doesn't really matter we can now think about the booba. So, um, there is gonna be a little bit of fat, so I like to draw like a little fat roll right here. And like, okay, so this is like, that's the, um, it's the belly button right there, at the natural waist. Uh, so, for men and women, we all grow fat around our booba. Um, so it depends on how big you're going, you know, but you're going to get fat there regardless. So usually a lot of people, you know, gravity is going like this, right? Um, but it's being stopped by this roll of fat right here. So <laughs> not me looking to see where my belly button is. Look, your own body definitely will help you draw you can look in a mirror, you can slap yourself, it's, it's very useful. So when you have a bigger body, you're gonna have um, gravity pulling down on all of the, the fat and the weight, um, but it's also being held up by the fat and the weight underneath as well. So you gotta remember that um, you know, you can't go like this. That doesn't, that's not how it works. So you gotta leave a little bit of room for it to like perk up just a bit. Of course, depending on the body that you have, you can either, you know, make this bigger or smaller. But I'm just showing you what goes on. So you got this and then it kind of goes up a little bit following this path that the fat here made. And then, you know, it comes around like that. So that's how that works. And you can also like draw like a little part right there too. So then, um, for the hips, you know, a lot of people get fat on their hips, but it's really their ass they get fat in. Um, so, and we'll be doing that, I can show you over there. Um, but basically, if, you know, you do this. You always want to cinch at those joints. Always cinch at the joints. Of course, when you have um, something like this, you're just gonna have to choose the best path. Usually the best path is just straight up. So you wanna make them touch and then go straight up. And then depending on what's going on, um, usually there's like a big muscle area like right here. So with your crotch, you're gonna end up like doing this. With a, with a curve that's like this. Like that. And then of course, um, not very many people get fat on their uh, calves, but some people do. What you would do is you would um, add the fat like right where the calf gets big, which is right here at the top. So you do it like, like this. And just like add on either side. And then, you know, like I said, people don't really get fat on their um, hands and feet.
unless it's like a super close detail. So you can just draw them the same as you've been drawing them. And there's your um, more plus sized figure. Let's see. Wow, look at that. So cool, so cool. Love it. Fantastic. Oh, and just letting you know, um, for belly buttons, usually uh, people with more fat and muscle have their belly button being pulled this way. So you want to do like a little like diamond going this way. But um, people who are skinnier have their belly buttons being pulled up and down. So you want to do it like this. Just a little diamond. Wow, yeah. So cool, so cool. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to do a side profile. So we're gonna use the same idea as over here and over here but we're gonna do side profile. I'm gonna make my model um, look this way. So, you have your face right here. This is your head. So, funny story, your head is actually kind of back here, but it's still the same size. So. It goes like this, and then your face comes on it like this. That's how it works. I promise. And then your neck goes right here. This is your shoulder. Immediately. Usually people have pretty big um, chests. So, um, you want to keep this and like more of a straight up and down and this more of a side to side angle, like that. And then once you get here, you can go all the way down to your um, natural waist. And then from here, you get to um, come in, like cinch in this way. And this keeps going down this goes out into your booby, your booby, like that. This is kind of like a rudimentary kind of thing. You can also like come in and then go out again, like a little cinch, but you don't have to. Um, this is your, that's your knee, so you want to, this is like where your leg is. That's your knee. And then you want to keep doing a straight line down, and then your calf goes like this. And then your foot does this weird little thing, like this. And of course your hand slaps right here, so if you want to do an arm, it's like right there. That's how it works. Ta da! Wow! So, if you were going to do someone who is more um, petite, you would, of course, come in and make the neck really skinny. Not very much to the back and barely anything to the front. And you come and cinch in real tight right there. And then you would, you know, if you want to give your person a, a booty, you can, um, and you just keep going down and draw your knee. Dick. Yeah. And then you draw your calf. And then you put. The 
foot is back a little bit because we ended up not making them as thick as the other person. The head is the same though. We draw the head the same. You know, and then, you know, your hand is right here. Bam! And if you were going to do a um, thinker person, you would come in up. You would come in and you would... Um, we're going to do the same here, so I'm going to kind of go a little faster just because we already um, kind of talked about why fat is in um, certain places. So you would go like this. So a lot of times... Um, fat cinches at places that have joints on them so you always want to keep like where is my joint in mind um, when you're drawing so there's a joint right here this is your joint to bend forward and backwards um, there's a joint right here there's a joint right here kind of of course, a joint right here, a joint right there, a joint right there, very sad, and a joint right there. So, I want to keep that in mind. Usually people are a little bit heavier this way, not necessarily this way. Some people got, some people got a don't be though. Some people got a don't be. So we're going to draw a don't be. We're going to draw one. Um, so, a lot of times, when people are um overweight they have like uh their cinch kind of goes like this so instead of straight across it's like that so a lot of times the booty is like this you know but it's coming from the correct place but it looks like it's a little higher um because it's cinched so tight right here so we're going to do a booty like this, and um, this part is pretty big as well. So we're going to do this, and a little boop, 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 like that, uh, and then like this. And then... This person is like, I need mean, this dumpy is a little too dumpy. Yeah, I think that dumpy is a little too dumpy. Yeah. You always want to cinch all the way back when you come and you do your foot. You have your uh, a little bit of fat roll right there. And you have a little bit right here too. And then of course, Mario? Mario taking Cabo class. Mario is taking Cabo class, guys. We have a new student. Mario is gonna be educated. Wow. Anyway, this is how it would be. And then you know, you would have your head like this. Now I kind of made this one a little bit more um, chunky than this one. Um, accidentally, sorry about that. Um, but just know that this person is more chunky than that one. Not play much though. You could, of course, um, make this go out like this. Be a little bit more chunky. Anyway, so let's see. Wow! That kind of looks weird without the arm. Hold on. 
Now I'm gonna draw the arm right here. That's how you do it. Alrighty. This all looks kind of crazy. I'm just going to do the, um, the red guy. Yeah. Ta-da! Wow! Alright, just a few more things I want to talk about um, before I open it up to any questions you may have. Um, so... This, of course, is like a quote-unquote realistic person. So this is not an anime person at all. Um, like I've said before, the thing about art, to really get good at art, or to really make it seem like you're good at art, is you need to learn the rules first. And then once you know the rules, once the rules are under your belt, then you can break them. The rules are meant to be broken, but you gotta learn them first to understand how to break them to make it look like you know what you're doing rather than you just don't know the rules in general. So, now I'm gonna tell you how to break the rules. These are the rules. We're gonna break them now. So, if you are going to draw an anime person, you are going to take all of this and you're going to elongate certain parts. So right here, you're going to elongate this part right here, how to draw <laughs> an Among Us guy. Yeah, sus sus, we're very sus in here. So this is going to be elongated right here and your torso is going to be shortened. That's how it works. So, basically, what I'm saying is, instead of... Okay, I'm just going to draw it, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. After, of course, it saves. Okay. So, we have our shoulders right here. Do -do 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 -do. And then we have our head. Wow, amazing, fantastic. Yay. Um... So right now we have our rib cage taking up two circles. I'm gonna make it smaller. My rib cage is gonna be like maybe one, maybe one and a half, maybe one and a quarter. Okay, and then I'm going to make this a little longer. So this is my crotch right here. And then my legs are going to be like that. Of course, our arms are always going to come down and reach the same um, place as they would. So what I did is I made the torso, which would have the natural waist would have been right there I've moved it up to here okay and then we have the ankle still at the same place the knees would have been right here I moved them up to here I, it could have even been like like this you can even go up there you know if you really wanted to And then, you know, because the torso is squished, so is the rest of this. It's kind of like everything is pulled up. So your crotch would have been down here. It's now right there. So I'm just going to draw. This goes shorter. This goes longer. 
That's how you do it. That's how you break the rules. It's just a, the smallest change and it really makes a big difference, I promise. Now, of course, if you were trying to draw like a more feminine person, um, yeah, 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 you would want to um, make your hips wider and your shoulders um, less wide. If you wanted to make a more masculine person, you would make your shoulders wider and your hips less wide, like that. That's how it works. Anime. Real life. There you go. That's how it will be. All right, um, that's basically all I have to say. Do you guys have any questions that I can answer for you? Um, or do you wanna just end it now? I think this is gonna be really, really helpful for you guys. Cause um, like even when we get to the foreshortening uh, lesson, then um, you'll already have a base for how bodies work so that we can use these circles to our advantage with perspective to show like this body in a, like a 3D space. But of course we gotta learn this first before we move on to that. I learned this back in college. Um, I kind of already intuitively understood it, but um, one of my college professors, she was really, really cool, I like her a lot. Um, I'm not gonna dox her, but um, she showed me the, the circle method and honestly, it makes so much sense. It's just like, like circles really, it's just like, amazing you know can you show us um how to draw side boob yeah like boob over here yeah so for boob over here what you would do the boob of course you got your nuple right here right so it would just come out more with however much fat you would want of course gravity is working against the body side boob of superiority yeah so you would get this area this is like the booba area and you would push it out this way so um let's let's say it's like this so you would go like this and then you realize okay gravity is pushing it down so this part's gonna go down this part's gonna go down um but this part's gonna stay right here so it would be Booba. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then your, your new play would be like right there. Right there. I don't want to get banned off of Twitch though, so. And then of course you can make it bigger or smaller, however you want. Like uh, small boobies would be like, like this. And then like bigger boobies would be like this, like, like this, like that. Small booba has always been difficult for me to draw. Small booba is really easy, let me show you. Um, I kind of just, did it, but it's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna do it on another layer, on a different color. Uh, green is a good color, right? So, small booba, it basically you come down like you would, and then right at the nuclei, you would 
just immediately cut it short, do like a this, and then push it all the way to the uh, to the body, like that. Your new blade would be right there. This is the collarbone right here. Booba. That helps a ton. Amazing. Fantastic. Alrighty. Are there any more questions? Anything I can go over? I am going to say that um and I think we're I think we're good. If you have any more questions, uh, you can always DM me or message me or um, at me on Twitter, whatever you want to do, uh, and I'll answer your question to the best of my abilities. Uh, so this has been Anatomy 101 with Cabo Chama at Cabo Class. If you um, had fun and you learned some stuff, um, then you can post, and if you're comfortable, of course, posting um, your stuff, then you can tag it with Cabo Class right here. Do, 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 wee! Yay! Um, so that I can see it, and um, you know, we can share our our various art experiences with each other. I think it would be fun. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know if uh, you liked this session, and. Um, if you have any suggestions for other couple class, please let me know so that I can get a get a class ready for you guys. Uh, I really like doing this, so I, I uh, really want to know what would be useful for you guys. <laughs> have fun as always. Thank you for the valuable knowledge. Of course, uh, I always have fun. So um, I appreciate you guys coming and learning with me. Alrighty, I'm gonna peace out. This is Cabo Chama signing off. I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your weekend. I'm streaming um, Genshin Impact tomorrow at 8 p.m. Same time, same place. You know how it is. Um, we're going to be doing more quests. So if that's your thing, then um, come at, uh, at me or come here or do whatever you want. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.